Hi everyone, welcome to today's class. The topic is phrasal verbs and other multi-word verbs. Phrasal verbs are part of a large group of verbs called multi-word verbs. Multi-word verbs are very common, especially in spoken English. Some examples are put up with, slip away, or run over. Multi-word verbs consist of a verb plus another word or words. The additional words can be prepositions or adverbs. The two or three words that make up multi-word verbs form a short phrase, hence the term phrasal verbs. Do not get caught up with the categories of multi-word verbs. For convenience, many people refer to all multi-word verbs as phrasal verbs. The important thing is to remember that a multi-word verb is still a verb. For example, eat and eat out. Both of these are verbs, but with different meanings. So they should be treated as separate verbs and learned like any other verb. Multi-word verbs could be separated into the following categories. So first we have single word verbs, like for example, look, meaning to direct your eyes in a certain direction. Look both ways before crossing the road. Now let's look at the multi-word verbs. First, prepositional verbs. Look after, meaning to take care of. Who's looking after the baby? Phrasal verbs. For example, look up, meaning to search for and find information in a reference book. You can look up my number in the telephone directory. And finally, phrasal prepositional verbs. For example, look forward to, meaning to anticipate with pleasure. I look forward to meeting you. Remember, focus on the meaning, not on the categories. One significant distinction between prepositional verbs and phrasal verbs is regarding the placement of the direct object. So, in as simple an explanation as possible, for phrasal verbs, the main verb plus an adverb followed by a direct object, three structures are possible. Let's take the phrasal verb put down and the object book. We can say, he put down his book. We can also place the object between the main verb and the object. He put his book down. Finally, we can replace the object with the pronoun, it, still between the main verb and the object. He put it down. This is not possible with prepositional verbs. Main verb plus preposition. They cannot be separated. Jack cares about Jill. Jack cares Jill about. Read the sentences and decide if they are correct or incorrect. For example, why do we always talk the weather about? This is clearly incorrect. And that brings us to the end of today's class. For more information on our one-to-one -one classes with a native speaking teacher, visit speakeasy1to1.com. Thanks for watching.